the ruler of the North Pole, Russia's largest and strongest icebreakers. Icebreakers are ships equipped with special gear designed to break ice layers on the water's surface and provide a safe navigational route for other ships or boats. Many countries around the world possess icebreakers, especially those in close proximity to the North Pole. One of the largest icebreakers is owned by Russia, utilized to navigate the Northern Sea Route, NSR, along the Arctic coast of Russia, from the Kara Sea along Siberia to the Barents Strait. Below is an overview of the largest icebreakers built by Russia. Due to approximately one-fifth of Russia's territory being in the Arctic or Arctic region, the waterways in this area remain ice-covered throughout the year. Consequently, from the Soviet era to the present, Russia has consistently built numerous icebreakers to break the ice along its waterways, particularly along the Northern Sea Route, NSR. Furthermore, some of these Russian icebreakers are nuclear-powered, with Russia being the sole nation possessing nuclear-powered icebreakers. Nuclear-powered icebreakers are more robust than diesel-powered ones, as diesel icebreakers face limitations in fuel and range, making them less practical and economical compared to their nuclear counterparts. During winter, ice along the northern sea route varies in thickness from 1.2 to 2 meters. The NSR is one of several Artec shipping routes, officially managed since the mid-1930s along the Artec northern coast, Russia. In recent years, the volume of shipped goods passing through the NSR has significantly increased. In 2021 alone, a recorded 34.7 million tons of goods traversed the NSR. This increase is attributed to the NSR's time and fuel efficiency compared to the Suez Canal. President Putin considers the NSR vital for global shipping and trade. When a ship departs from Yokohama to Rotterdam via the NSR, the journey takes only 20 days, covering approximately 7,200 kilometers. In contrast, using the Suez Canal takes 33 days, covering about 12,000 kilometers. Aside from saving time and fuel, NSR tariffs are reportedly more competitive than those of the Suez Canal. However, to promote and enhance the Northern Sea Route, Russia faces various challenges. Notably, the thick ice along the Northern Sea Route cannot be effectively navigated by conventional diesel-powered icebreakers. Hence, Russia has constructed nuclear-powered icebreakers, such as those under Project Tutau Tutu Tueno, including the Arctica. In 1986, Russia previously built a nuclear-powered icebreaker named Yamal, launched in October 1962 after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Yamal belongs to the Arctica-class family of Russian icebreakers, recognized as the world's most powerful. Measuring 148 meters in length, 30 meters in width, and weighing 23,000 tons, Yamal can break ice of up to 3 meters in thickness. Yamal is equipped with two nuclear reactors and two steam turbo generators, achieving a maximum speed of 20 knots, or approximately 38 kilometers per hour. Due to its nuclear power, Yamal can only operate in cold waters to cool its reactor, making it unsuitable for sailing in tropical areas. Yamal plays a crucial role in annual expeditions to the North Pole, ensuring the safe transport of tourists. Another significant icebreaker is the Arktika, a Russian nuclear-powered icebreaker constructed by the Baltic shipyard in St. Petersburg under Project 22200. Arctica is the largest and most powerful icebreaker ever built. The construction of the Arctica was contracted to the Baltic shipyard for $1.16 billion. The project faced delays, necessitating an extension of the contract by the Russian government due to the Ukrainian crisis in 2013. Nevertheless, the Arctica was completed in 2020. Weighing 33,000 tons, with a length of 173.3 meters, a width of 34 meters, a height of 51 meters, and a draft of 15 meters. The Arctica is equipped with two nuclear reactors and two turbo generators, each capable of producing 175 megawatts of power. 
its six meter diameter propellers with four fixed blade configurations, each weigh 60 tons. The Arctica's double hull icebreaker design allows it to break ice up to three meters thick at speeds of one and a half to two knots. Its maximum speed is 22 knots or 41 kilometers per hour when not breaking ice. The interior of the Arctica comprises over six decks, housing workspaces and accommodation. At the top, a central control room oversees all activities on the Arctica. Luxurious facilities, including a spacious kitchen and entertainment areas for crew and guests, are also present. Additionally, the ship features a helipad for helicopter landings. These icebreakers contribute to facilitating navigation along the northern sea route. Recently, Russia successfully explored an oil field in the Yamal Peninsula after more than 50 years of challenging accessibility. The Yamal oil field, discovered in 1961, was inaccessible due to technological limitations at the time. However, the Northern Sea Route and icebreakers have eased transportation to this location. Nevertheless, concerns have been raised in the international community about the increasing popularity of the Northern Sea Route, the rise in the number of icebreakers breaking ice and the potential acceleration of rising sea levels are worrisome. However, according to Russia, even without the Northern Sea Route, the North Pole is projected to remain ice-free by 2040 due to increasing surface temperatures worldwide attributed to global warming. Russia aims to leverage these conditions to enhance its navigational routes.